Hi, I'm Elliot Morgan. Hi, I'm Lee Newton. <laughs> we're uh, switching our names because this is episode is all with comedians, and we're trying to be funny just like them. You know, so like, you know let us into their <laughs> cool Take my wife. Club. Yeah. <laughs> Take my wife? Yeah, it's Rodney Dangerfield, you fuck. week we have the hilarious Rob Riggle and the hilarious Jeff Dye. Both seasoned comics, so what we're expecting is a pretty fun and lighthearted episode. Oh yeah, no major character death. But before we meet our contestants, let's take a moment and head on over to the Battle Breakdown stage and see last week's recap. Okay. Thanks Lee and Elliot. What's up you guys? I'm Matt Stefanina and welcome to the Battle Breakdown. Now last week's episode starring the gorgeous Lapita Nyong'o and Regina Hall has already been described as the most tantalizingly sexy episode yet. And while I agree it was great, I don't really catch the naughty vibe that everybody's talking about. In fact, I thought it contained a lot of strong family values. For example, here's Regina Hall showing off the innocent joys of an old fashioned swing set. Then moments later, her backup dancers bust out feather dusters to remind us the importance of thorough personal hygiene. Keep those faces dusted, kids. But of course, there's more to life than chores, and no one knows that better than Chrissy Teigen, who reminded us it's important to keep a ball around just in case one should happen upon a playful dog. But of course, the real message of the evening is one of fire safety. And in her winning performance, Lupita Nyong'o showed us the importance of keeping a trained professional around to keep you and your friends damp during wildfire season. I don't know about you guys, but I feel safer already. And that's the battle breakdown. Back to you guys, Chrissy and LL. Should we mention that we're not Chrissy and LL? No, good God, no. Yeah. No, I have a banging bod and a baby with John Legend. I am riding that wave. Fair enough. Next up, let's see the interviews with these contestants and see how they're preparing for this week's lip sync battle. We are here with Rob Riggle. Rob, how are you feeling? I'm feeling really, really good, thank you. How about you? <laughs> good, I'm yeah. good. Are you nervous? Are you amped going into this battle? Both. Oh. Both. Okay. Um, but look, mm -hmm. I came here to win. Oh, yeah. So good. I like Jeff, funny, talented guy, sure. but tonight he can suck it. <laughs> Pretty much, right? Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. We talked to you at the Guys' Choice Awards, mm. and you seemed really into the idea of the lip sync battle. Mm -hmm. You also said that you wouldn't mind battling Jesus, uh, and then you defaulted to Abraham Lincoln. Did I? Yeah, you did. Right. How do you not say Jesus Christ? <laughs> you know? Maybe Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, too. Yeah, He's maybe. very scared of theaters, but I get it. Abraham, I mean, he's just a good dude. Yeah, but we got you Jeff, who has just as much charisma. As I don't Abraham. put him on the same level as Jesus, okay? No, but... Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> no, just, not even. Not even, no, huh? no. Yeah, no. Now, um, do you think Jeff has any weaknesses besides? Yes, you know, I do, being yes. Jeff I mean, uh, he has several weaknesses. Sure, um, sure. But... I don't think we have the kind of time to list them all. <laughs> um, but uh, no, look, Jeff's a good dude. Like I said, I like him. Yeah, Funny sure. comedian. I just hope we can shake hands when it's over. But no promises. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm prepared. I'm prepared to go a lifetime with never talking to Jeff again. I don't know about Jeff. No, uh, that's great. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. Hey, everybody. I'm here with Jeff Dye. Jeff, how you feeling? I feel great, man. We met last year at the beginning when this all started. Yep. Committed. You're a student of the game. I, I love commit it. to this. And all of my research and robots tell me that Andy Cohen will win soundly. Mm. And then since then, you have done touring and television shows. Yeah. You know, and then I, and, but I'm still, you know, doing this, so. No, don't feel bad about yourself, you're doing great. Thank you for that, for that, Jeff. I really, I really appreciate Oh, actually, are you hosting another show? Yes, it's called That Awkward Game Show. Yeah, that was like I'm me. a shoe in for that. Yeah. You know, I'm a little weird. Well, I can be kind of annoying, but I'm like a dog, you know? I'm always happy to see everyone. Right. One of Chrissy Teigen's dogs is fat as hell, man. That dog needs a treadmill. Did you do anything special to prepare for this whole thing? Um, I listened to the songs over and over in my head. That's really good. Yeah, That's yeah. The most, like, logical answer. Yeah, I learned the words. <laughs> yeah, but it was hard. How do you feel about your competition, Mr. Riggle? Yeah, Rob Riggle. You know, I feel like everybody's gonna pick him just because he's more famous than me. But here's the thing. That's true. So I know Riggle's going down because they're expecting him to be great. He's gonna try to intimidate everyone. You know, he's a big, muscly, you know, oh, I'm a war hero, and I served our country, and I've been on movies, and I'm charming and strong. 
That stuff's overrated anyway. You're right. Yeah, I mean, not all of it, but you can pick which ones I think are overrated. <laughs> Definitely the uh, <clears throat> strong one. Uh, why don't you look into that camera right there? Yes. And just give the most intimidating message you possibly can to Rob. You got it. Like, really go for it. Rob Riggle, you think you're so great. Well, you aren't. Startling, right? Yeah. And now you know why my show is called That Awkward Game Show. <laughs> I have a gift, and it's awkwardness. You're special, man. <laughs> Aw, what fun interviews. Yeah, I mean, I, I liked them. I guess there was one more thing I wanted to say to Jeff, but. You could probably move on, though. Let's have, move uh, on. You listen here, Jeff. Okay. Chrissy Teigen's dog has a name, and it's Peppa. All right, if you want to walk around publicly body shaming people, you got to come to me, sir because Pippa is way out of your league. She's beautiful and she's majestic and she's noble. She's learned how to balance a career with, while maintaining one of the happiest dog marriages in all of Hollywood. That's right, if you would have done a little bit of research, you would have learned that in the spring of 2015, Pippa actually married Chrissy Teigen's other dog, Putty, but you wouldn't know that, would you? Now, I wasn't myself invited to the ceremony, but I heard that it was actually very beautiful and they did kind of like a, a tote brown color palette and it matched the fall colors, which was really nice and it would have been nice to go, but that's not the point. And also Pippa, if you're listening, um, don't pay attention to these people like Jeff Dye who just want to rob you of all the goodness that is within your soul, okay? You are perfect. You're beyond perfect. You're a pebble. God, you got a lot of emotion in there. Yeah, uh, when I was uh, growing up in school, people used to mistake me for being a, a bulldog. So be sure to tune in this week, guys, for Lip Sync Battle, uh, where the really actually very nice and very cool Jeff Dye battles the still really cool Rob Briggle, okay? Are you gonna be Bye. okay? No? Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Because you're going to do that, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to nail it.